for team and individually for you? Just how did tonight feel and what was different? Well, I think we just brought energy on both sides of the floor. Um, I mean, once Eastern was over, we put that past us. We came to practice this week, dominated practice, and it showed uh, today. Mark, what was it like being out there for the first time? And um, can you also describe? Oh, it was fun. It was real, real fun. Um, the crowd was great. Um, everybody in here was great. I ain't never seen that many people since I played college basketball, so it was just a humbling experience for me. So, And the importance of getting to the line and, and executing oh, yeah. Co there. Coach stressed the, stresses that um, all the time, get to the line and get to the offensive glass. So that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to um, make that our imprint um, for the rest of the teams, rest of the games this year. Aaron, you had 23 points last year. How, how did 17 feel today? And, and what, do you, what do you think of your role on this team and your opportunity? Um, well, you know, it felt good, but I couldn't have done it without my teammates. You know, just everybody was out there playing together, moving the ball. You know, everybody got a little piece of it tonight. So, you know, shout out to them. If you have a question, just raise your hand right here. I guess, Aaron, just what was different about tonight, you know, compared to uh, a week ago? I mean, Mark said it was energy. What did, what did you feel? I mean, I felt the same thing. I felt energy. Our fan section was amazing. They were in full force. Our fans, the crowd, you know, just playing off of them helped us get the W tonight. Right in the middle. Um, defensively, you guys really got, got after them. So um, how, how often was that em emphasized after the EIU game um, and in practice this week? And then how well do you think you executed um, that game plan? Well, I think we did a great job. Um, as you can see, we got five assists and 22 turnovers for the opposing team. So if you do that each and every night, you know, we get put ourselves in a good position to win every night. So I think we executed our defensive plan um, to perfection almost. Front. Aaron, you, you've been through. This is your second coach now. Just, what did you guys feel like coming in for this one for for Coach Underwood, and how's it feel to just put up 102 and hold the team <laughs> to 55 in his debut? I mean, that was pretty much amazing. Uh, it's always good to, you know, just help our coach out get that first W. That's always something that's you know a difficult thing to do for teams just in college basketball in general. So, you know, just knowing we got that first win, and now we're about to go into the next one. Mark, what? Uh, 100 points is great, but what do you guys need to do better the next time you come out here on Sunday? Well, I don't think we need to uh, continue to execute our um, on offense a little better, you know, keep moving the ball. Um, I mean, tonight, the only thing I can say is we can just shoot better from the three, but other than that, I think we played a overall um, well game. Here in the front, in the middle. So I guess off of that, I mean, you go four of 21 from three and still put up 102. Just where does that come from? Come from um, officer rebounding first. Um, we shot over 50% from the two. So, I mean, I think, I mean, it just comes from effort other than that. Definitely. Oh, yeah, free throw shooting for sure. Oh, yeah. You think right here? <clears throat> Mark, double-double in your first game as an Illini. Just talk a little bit about, uh, you know, 10 rebounds and your 17 points. Um, I mean, I can't get the credit. You got to get the credit to teammates. Everybody just coming out here playing their role. And, um, it's a team effort, like AJ said. You know, um, some nights I'm going to have the rebounds and points, and another nights it's going to be somebody else. So I'm going to just come, come out here trying to do my job. Second row. In the offseason, coaches talked about a lot about how Illinois basketball needs to regain that swagger. 47 points, it's just just the first game, but a 47-point win, putting up 100. I mean, is this the good start of getting that swagger? It is a good start, but, you know, we can't be – we can't settle with that. You know, we're going for more each and every game. we got to lock in on the details. we got to go in tomorrow, get better, see what we can do better, and be ready for Sunday. Scott? I guess for either of you, did you feel like you had something to prove after last Friday night? I mean, yeah, definitely. I think we definitely did as a team, not something to prove, but we just wanted to get better today. Like Coach said, we had a good week of practice. We, want, we wanted that to carry over to today and carry over to Sunday. So I think we definitely got better today.
Anything else for the players? All right. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you, guys. And, uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy for our guys, excited for our guys. Um, last Friday was a little bit humbling, and that's not to take anything away from, from Eastern, but um, I thought we did a tremendous job of preparing <coughs> to win this week. And um, <clears throat> so that's why I'm really, really proud of our guys. Uh, Tijon Lucas was tremendous. Uh, Tijan set the tone the entire week. His leadership was phenomenal. Uh, his effort was tremendous. Uh, and then he picks up a couple early fouls. And you have no idea how happy I am for Trent uh, because I thought their ball pressure early in the ball game was phenomenal in terms of keeping them out of what they wanted to run. Um, Leron and, 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 and Fink um, had one rebound in the first half between the two of them in the Eastern game. Tonight we had 11. Uh, just different energy, different different attitude. And um, so that was pleasant to see them uh, them respond. And then Mark Allstork uh, did what Mark does. And uh, he had a great week of practice. Uh, we all know that Mark has been a very capable scorer. What I'm really happy with was, was his, his rebounding uh, and his passing. He was very, very unselfish. Uh, he's a tremendous shooter that just didn't have the ball go in, or he had a huge night. And um, uh, but uh, we got out and ran early. Uh, and then I thought in the second half we did a pretty good job of just running half court offense and and taking what was there. So uh, all in all, a good night. And I thought we did a great job of preparing to win, which is a big step for this team. And uh, then we came out and 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 didn't really have a let up. We played for 40 minutes and it was good to get some young guys minutes and, and uh, get through that, um, that first game. Uh, it jitters, but uh, you know, it's, it, I, I will say this, uh, we've got the best crowd in the, in, in the country to have 14,000 there tonight. And um, our guys responded to that and, and uh, so a big thank you to them and our students. But a uh, uh, quick turnaround and uh, we'll be in here again on Sunday. Questions right here, Jeremy. Brad, I know this is hypothetical, but was that EIU game the best thing that could have happened to your team, or how do you think they would have responded if they would have won that game? Well, I don't think it was as much about who won or lost that game uh, as it was playing it, getting guys in a uniform in in front of a crowd, and you're talking about a group of freshmen that that hadn't done that. Um, Right. Look at Trent. You know, Trent couldn't even dribble in the Eastern game. He was so nervous and uptight, and, and uh, uh, yet that was a completely different guy tonight. And, uh, um, you know, Aaron Jordan, AJ was off the chart, and uh, I'm really happy for him because that young man has spends countless hours in the gym working, working on his game and not just making shots, but his defensive rotations were tremendous. But the, the, Eastern, the Eastern game needed to happen um, so we could go feel that. We could go, here's starting lineups announced and, 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 uh, uh, and then deal with adversity. So I'm, I'm really happy with how we bounce back. Shannon? Brad, you said earlier in the week that you'd be nervous before tonight's game. You came out pointing to the Orange Crush. You seemed to be kind of soaking it all in. What were your emotions uh, before the game started as you were? Well, I came court? over to the women's game at uh, this afternoon, not just in support of Nancy, because I, I have a tremendous relationship with her and have a lot of respect for the job they, they do and want to support them, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I, I love the, the smell of an arena, the, the atmosphere of an arena, and just to, just to kind of soak that in for a minute. Um, you know, I, I have so much um, love for students and the support that they, that they bring, because they bring the, the atmosphere and um, I always, always want to want to thank them because they they create that. And uh, but yeah, I, I'll be honest. I was I was I was nervous. I was emotional. I guess from the standpoint that you know, I'm living out my dream. And uh, you know to do that. And there's 14,000 show up tonight. Pretty special. And and uh, then our guys played great and and uh, played hard. And uh, so yeah, it was it's all in all it was a, it was a good night. Right here, Jim. 
Brad, you had five guys in double figures tonight and three more just on the outside. Just talk a little bit about the uh, you know, unselfishness of your team and just the ball control and passing it to everybody. I hope you get used to that. I truly hope that that's something that, that you see. I think that's the one thing that our offense can, can breed is, is unselfish basketball. I think you can see a lot of options. Um, I, you know, I, I think the one thing that was, that was um, we got great shots, and, and yet we had a, a few opportunities to, to, to get a couple clean looks at threes, and, and we've got tremendous three-point shooters. I think we, at Vanderbilt, we were, you know, 11 for 16 or something from the three, so, or whatever that, we're a good shooting team, and yet uh, Fink misses a couple clean ones, and, and Trent Frazier's, you know, a dynamite shooter, so, uh, but yeah, we, uh, I hope you see that unselfishness, and, and uh, uh, I've led the country in assists before. I take a lot of pride in that, and, and, and our guys are slowly buying into that. Doug? Coach, um, 36 points in the paint, you shot 37 free throws. Are you happy with the way they attack the rim? Absolutely. I, I'd always like to see more points in the paint, but, uh, uh, you know, I'm an old school guy. The closer you are to the basket, the better chance it has to go in. And, um, and then there's an aggression when, the, when you get the ball in the paint. And we talk about that a great deal. And uh, uh, I thought Mark Smith was tremendous at, at, at driving the ball into the paint. You saw his strength and uh, his ability to finish. And uh, Mark Allstort got it there. And um, you know, you get teams in the bonus, and you get teams running, and 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 get them uh, uh, backpedaling. Uh, you got a, you got a chance to uh, to get to the line a lot, and that's a big part of what we try to do. Scott, so when Finky gets that offensive rebound and put put back with a dunk early in the game. Did you maybe feel then that it might be a little different than last Friday? Well, I felt it yesterday. I knew it was going to be different yesterday, just the way we prepared to win. And, uh, uh, and, and we had a good week of practice. We pushed them. There's no question we pushed them this week in practice. But I think the one thing that, uh, uh, you know, I, I don't know if that was my thought. When, when Finky got the rebound, I thought he, you know, I think my actual thought was he got one more rebound than he got the whole half at Eastern. So, um, but uh, Michael's a really good player, and, and we need him to be good. And, and uh, uh, his aggressiveness and, and LaRon's helped set a tone. Um, Coach, after the Eastern game, you were talking about, you know, diving for loose balls, taking those charges. I guess, how do you think your team responded with those hustle plays today? Well, I thought we were better. I thought we were our, our intent was better. I, you know, I thought we were we were uh, more mentally focused. You know, just baseline outs, side outs. We forced turnovers. Um, you know, we 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 probably had a couple opportunities to take charges that we didn't. But uh, um, again, it was it was it was a much better effort. Our positioning was much better, and and uh, we'll continue to improve in that area. Paul? Kind of off the top from the game, but with signing day just passed, now you can officially comment about IO. I wanted to get your thoughts on whether that could really be a huge momentum changer in recruiting and just overall. Yeah, we're excited about him. We've got um, a young man that uh, was our top target. We've got a young man that is uh, a guy that we, we, we've watched a great deal. I think he's a, um, a, a guy that fits uh, exactly what we try to do. Um, he's an elite player in the open court. He's a guy who can go get his own shot. And uh, he's charismatic, and he's a terrific, terrific character uh, person. He's got uh, a desire to want to be great, and uh, I appreciate that. So we'll, uh, we'll think he'll, uh, uh, he'll fit in great, and I think he can be a guy that, um, that, that continues to help. Follow up. Do you think this could be at the start to uh, um, more inroads in Chicago recruiting? I hope it's inroads to everybody everywhere. I, you know, I, like I've said many times, it, if it's Chicago, it's Chicago. If it's not, it's we're going to go where the pieces fit and where the players are. And, and uh, sure, we want to keep our best players here. Um, we want to play it the way that we think is attractive. But um, you know, tonight's step one of uh, helping us get our swagger back a little bit. Jeremy. Brad, we've been asking about Matisse if he'd play, and, and he did. What went into that, and what did you see out of him and uh, Ebo tonight? Well, I saw a lot of Matisse that I hadn't seen in practice. Um, and, and to give him a lot of credit, um, you saw a little bit of a skill set. 
Um, the, the one thing that, that, that Matisse is, is uh, Matisse is a terrific shooter. I can't get him shooting. And he, he turned down two or three shots. And if, if we lined everybody up and shot the basketball, he's, he's going to be right there in terms of the top, in terms of the best shooters. Um, very smart. You saw him step, step right in the game, get a big rebound. Um, his defensive rotations were right a couple times. I'm a big, big fan of his. Now, did he get a little bit sped up? Absolutely. Um, Greg was, was, was very good. Uh, I think we saw glimpses of what Greg can do defensively, changing shots, rotating over. Um, he's, he's, a, um, uh, he's another one that had a very good week of practice in terms of rebounding the basketball. Uh, so I'm, I'm very high on those two, and they're going to continue to grow and work and get better every single day. Mark? Brad, you, uh, you got a real quick turnaround now. I, I assume Sunday you're looking for no slide back in terms of effort and uh, the start of something consistent. Well, we have, the, we have the slang. It's in the tongue of our shoes, everyday guys. And, and to, today's about maturity. So is tomorrow. And uh, there has to be a, a, a level of... of of maturity in terms of how you handle yourself, how you take care of your body, and now your mental approach. And uh, uh, we've got a very good Tennessee Martin team coming in here that's uh, uh, that's going to present different challenges, and we've got to accept that. And, and uh, tonight for the coaches about preparing for that, and uh, along with our players resting their bodies and and uh, getting ready to tackle the uh, the new task tomorrow. Rob, uh, back to Greg and Matisse. They had a little trouble running the point tonight, and uh, <laughs> you you made some remark to Brian Barnhart and Dion Thomas that seemed to crack them up. I wonder if you could share it. I don't remember what I said actually, but I I, that, I probably said something that I can't repeat in here. Uh, but um, you know, Matisse is very skilled, and and um, you know, I think he's he's been a guy that's played multiple per perimeter positions, so he feels comfortable doing that. Um, again, that's an adjustment. We don't want Greg ever doing that. Uh, but, um, uh, you know, I put as much responsibility on that as, as for our point guards as I do anybody else. But uh, you'll, you'll, see, um, you'll see both of those guys improve, and uh, I'm really excited about um, the upside that those guys have. Kendrick? Coach, I know it's early in the season, but how well are the guys picking up your system as far as running it and executing it the way you want it to be? We're getting better every single week, and I, offensively, it's not easy. I'm not. I'm not trying to tell um, anybody in here that it's easy to pick up. There's reads. There's there's counters. We didn't run any counters tonight to, to anything, uh, and um, we stayed very vanilla. Uh, but um, but they're picking it up. They're getting better, and and I think you're going to start to see versatility. Uh, the one thing maybe I had planned a little bit tonight that, that uh, we didn't see because of Tijon's foul trouble was putting Tijon in the pinch post um, and uh, moving our bigs out on the court. So that changes a whole other dimension in front of the rim. But um, uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. And, it, and it's we, we not even close to having everything in, but we're, uh, we're starting to, uh, to add small pieces. Coach, I saw uh, Finky, Laron, uh, Tijon even kind of coaching other guys. What kind of leadership did you see from your guys today? Add Mark Allstork to that. How awesome was that? Uh, how, I mean, it, it's, and, and, and I'll be guarded when I say this. Uh, that's awesome. But uh, we need that. We have to have that. Those are veterans who've played in college basketball games who know what, know what it takes. Um, but it was easy tonight, and and now we've got to get that when when it's when it's not always easy, and there's challenges and there's adversity, and uh, but it's a huge step tonight, and I'm I'm very proud of them. Tijon's been unbelievable all week, and uh, we've seen another an, another Tijon than than what we have seen uh, uh, previously, and 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 uh, to see those guys. You know, I remember the play Trent kind of went wildly in and Fink grabbed him and, and, and talked to him. That's, that's a positive sign. And uh, uh, when we can get, get everybody on that same page and doing that, then we'll have something really special here. Anything else for Coach? All right. Thank you. See you on Sunday.